stand up, Chloe, and take her back. Come here, Chloe. Come here. Chloe was dancing earlier. You're a pretty awesome dancer, aren't you? You've got, you've got some moves there, girl. Can we do that again? How old are you, Chloe? Seven? She's six. I thought you were seven. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for a six-year-old girl, give her a round of applause. Now then, what we're going to do tonight is we're going to hypnotise people, but not just any people, you people. You've got to know, you've got, you've got to be over the age of 18. You've got to be reasonably intelligent. Put your hands up if you're intelligent. I'll tell you what, I'll make it easier for you. You can't hypnotise anyone that's stupid. Put your hands up if you're sat next to an idiot. Excuse me. Sir, excuse me, sir. You're supposed to join in. Don't just sit there looking like a handsome tablecloth. <laughs> join in, you miserable old fart, honestly. <laughs> I can already see that this side of the room is more fun than this side of the room. Am I right? <laughs> Let's just try this. This side of the room. Let me hear you say, ho! Oh! Just, just her. That's it. Just one, one child. This side, they're drinking, they're having fun, they're full of life. This side of the room, everybody say ho! Ho! <laughs> say ho, ho! Ho, ho! Say ho, ho, ho! Ho, ho! Say do me daddy! Do me daddy! No, not you. <laughs> ever, ever, ever want to hear you say that again. That is disgusting. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, these are my volunteers. Can you please give them a big round of applause? This is what I call the pendulum test, okay? Stand up straight, put your feet together, hands by your side. Feet together. Toasting, well done. Right. What's your name, madam? Steve. Steve, thanks for not correcting me. Steve! What we're going to do is this. You're going to look at me. I know I'm not much to look at, don't worry about that. Money a little fella. I always go for the big ones. Hey! You know, they say, take them down first, get the big ones. Look at me, open and close your eyes as fast as you can. Open and close, fast as you can, fast as you can. You're going to notice that your eyes are starting to get heavier and heavier. The harder it is to keep your eyes open, they're going to want to close. Don't worry, don't fight it. It's fine, it's completely normal. Just open and close it. It's like they've got sand in them. They're getting heavier and heavier and heavier. And it's almost to the point where they don't want to open anymore. And you can just close your eyes and relax. You don't have to fight it anymore. You're not going to fall over. You're going to remain stood. You're going to remain stood and you're going to glue your eyes together. Imagine there's glue on your eyelids. You're going to stick them together as hard as you can. Squeeze your eyes together. Squeeze them. Arr, squeeze them together. Squeeze them, squeeze them, squeeze them. Stick them together. And no matter how hard you should try, you'll find that your eyes are stuck together. And this is completely normal. This is called a double bind, because what you're doing is you're telling yourself that your eyes are stuck together, and then you're gonna try and open them, but you can't because you've told them that they're stuck. This is perfectly normal, this is how hypnosis works, okay? What you do when you hypnotize yourself, and in fact, when you try to do anything in life, and you struggle with it, you can sometimes give yourself a suggestion that this is not gonna work, and then you go out and try and you find out that it doesn't work. You've already nixed yourself. If you tell yourself that something's gonna work, it will work. If you tell yourself you can, you will. If you tell yourself you can't, you're right. Take a deep breath. Deep breath. 
fill your lungs as much as you can. Hold it for about five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and breathe out. Feel yourself relaxing, remaining stood. You're not gonna lose your balance. You're gonna remain stood at all times. But you're gonna to start to notice a very peculiar sensation in that ever so gently, you can feel your body swaying one way to the next. And this is normal. You're not gonna lose your balance. Your balance is gonna remain yours at all times. But just feel the swing, that's it. You can feel it, you can feel it, but that's fine. And it's a minute feeling that will start to build up and become visible to everybody else. You'll feel this sway like a pendulum. Because the earth moves, we are nothing but humans, we are small, tiny particles on this planet, and you will feel yourself swaying and you can feel it. And the more you sway, the more relaxed you'll become. It's a wonderful sensation, it feels nice, and you can feel that. And you can feel yourself ever so gently forwards and backwards, side to side. And these movements are going to get bigger and bigger. Remember keeping your feet flat on the floor, keeping your knees together, and just feel the pendulum movement. Take another deep breath, and this time, when you breathe in and you hold it for five seconds, you breathe out, you're going to feel yourself relaxing five times deeper than before, from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. Just let yourself relax, because ladies and gentlemen, we live in a very stressful world, a stressful society, where we have to pay bills and we have to do things, and whilst you're here, you're not going to worry about any of that. I'm going to go around, I'm going to go behind you. I'm going to stand behind you. Take another deep breath. And I want you to use your imagination. I want you to imagine that I've stuck my finger to the back of your neck. Imagine I've stuck it to the back of your neck. Now remember, I'm behind you, I will not let you fall, but you must keep your body rigid. Rigid, rigid like a steel bar. Completely rigid. It will not bend, nothing will bend your body completely rigid. I'm gonna put the microwave for, oh, the microwave, microwave for a second. is that whilst you are hypnotized, you can sleep in your own bed wherever you are in the world. He knows exactly where he is, but I want you to take a deep breath and imagine you are in your own bed. You're not gonna do anything embarrassing or rude, you're just gonna get comfortable. I want you to get in your favorite position that you sleep in at night and just 
Make the floor your bed and make it as comfortable as possible. One, two, three. Nice. Now, during the time you're there, remember this. Any time that you find yourself in someone else's bed or on holiday or somewhere staying at a parent's or a friend's and you can't get to sleep because you're not in your own bed and you're not talking to other people, then what you're going to do is find that you can make yourself comfortable by imagining the smell of your own sheets. Imagining how comfortable your pillow is. Imagining how nice it is to be in your own bed. Because ladies and gentlemen, our, ima our imaginations allow us to travel the world in our minds. At no point do I want you to be uncomfortable, you're aware that you're on the floor, but I want you to go down and down, deeper and deeper. Just really enjoy the sensation of being in your own bed. You know when hypnotists go up to people and they just click their fingers and the person goes like that and they're out for the count? I don't always like to do that because when I do it, it scares the life out of a lot of people because they go, my God, this is powerful stuff. So what I do is I slow it down a little bit. I slow it down so that when they're watching, they don't freak out. What's your name? Chris. Chris, all I want you to do is relax, Chris. Just relax and sleep down and down. Deeper and deeper. Good feeling, good sensation. Making your arms loose and limp like an old rag doll. Down and down. Deeper and deeper. Good feeling, good sensation in all of your body. All that matters is the sound of my voice. Chris, whilst your eyes are closed, you can hear everything that's going on, am I correct? Yeah. And you feel nice and relaxed, yes? Mm -hmm. And you're quite happy there, relaxing your head on this beautiful man's shoulder, am I right? Good man. Nice and loose and limp. It's a nice sensation. It feels lovely. It's something that we should do more often. Not being stressed out. Look at your hand. Look at your hand. Your hand wants to touch your forehead. You can try and stop your hand from touching your forehead. And the harder you try, the more your hand will touch your forehead. And when it does, you'll close your eyes and you'll go into a deep sleep, resting your head on this beautiful lady. <laughs> down and down, deeper and deeper. Good feeling, good sensation, all of your body. Let your arm drop now, let your arm drop. Oh, you missed. During the time your eyes are closed, all that matters is the sound of my voice. Just relax and enjoy yourself. All that matters is that you have fun in your own mind. You're going to remain sat. The things that we do will be silly and ridiculous and fun, but they will not be dangerous. They will not be rude. They will not harm you in any way. <laughs> Nice. Down and down, deeper and deeper. Good feeling, good sensation all of your body. It's all about love. If we are kind to each other and kind to ourselves, then ladies and gentlemen, we will live in a wonderful world. What a wonderful world. During the time your eyes are closed, you keep your eyes closed. That was the number one rule, wasn't it? You close your eyes because we're talking about doing things in your head. You're not asleep. When you're hypnotized, you're not asleep. But you see somebody with their eyes closed and you go, oh, he's asleep. No, he's not, he's got his eyes closed. The reason we close our eyes is because we don't want to be looking at that lot. That makes sense, doesn't it? Look at my finger, look at my finger. Look at my finger.
Down and down, deeper and deeper, go feeling the sensation on your body. All that matters is the sound of my voice. Can you do me a favour, sir? Can you clap three times and watch what happens on the third clap? <laughs> Down and down, deeper and deeper, good feeling, good sensation, all of you buddy. What's your name? Vicky. Vicky. Vicky, my darling, put your arms out in front of you. Imagine that this hand has got a balloon on it, this hand has got a bucket of sand. Bucket of sand balloon, bucket of sand balloon, bucket of sand balloon. Watch what happens. Which has got the balloon in it? I can't remember. Which one do you want? Oh, look, this one's going down. This must have the bucket of sand. Has this one got the balloon? Maybe that's going to get lighter. Watch what happens. Lighter, lighter, lighter. Heavier, heavier, heavier. Lighter, heavier, lighter, heavier, lighter. Weird, huh? Weird, heavier, lighter, heavier, lighter, heavier. She's just drunk the bucket of sand. That is... Down and down, down and down. Ladies and gentlemen, can you give them all a big round of applause, please? Volunteers, I'm talking to you directly. I want you to understand this, that whilst you're here, you're under my care. We're not going to do anything against your morals or your ethics. I just want you to enjoy yourself. But what I'd like you to do now is get into a very comfortable position by lying on the person next to you, just leaning your heads against each other. Whatever it is, just remember to keep your balance at all times. I want you to be comfortable. Just keep your eyes closed. Use your imagination. And I want you to imagine that we're on the beach. I want you to imagine that we're on a golden beach, blue sky, blue sea. It's a wonderful day. And we're on holiday. Maybe it's somewhere you've wanted to be. Maybe it's somewhere you've been. It doesn't matter. I want you to imagine now that you're on the beach. Golden sea, blue sky. It's a beautiful day. It's about 80 degrees. And remember, you're completely dressed, but in your mind, you can imagine you're wearing the most wonderful bathing costume, and I want you to feel sexy. You're not gonna do anything sexy, I just want you to feel it. I want you to feel that when people look at you, they go, wow, I wish I looked that good. Because you know what? Sometimes people do look at you and think that. You don't know that, but it's true. Some people wish they had what you've got. And I want you to feel that. I want you to feel how good it is when people see you and go, blimey. Feel that glow in your body, that glow in your belly that makes you feel confident, that makes you feel happy. 85 degrees, feel that on the beach, lead on your sun lounger, you can stretch your legs out, you can soak up the sun, stretch your legs out now, just stretch them out, be comfortable at all times, really enjoy the sensation, um, what I want you to do is think about this, think about this, just be comfortable, keep your eyes closed all the time, doesn't matter what anyone else is doing, all that matters, 90 degrees, it's getting hotter and hotter. You can feel the heat. Gently, using one of your hands, use it as a fan and fan your face and cool yourself down a little bit. Fan your face and cool yourself down. Do that now. And remember, the more you do, the more hypnotized you become, the more relaxed you become, the more you enjoy the experience. I said to you before, I'm not gonna make you do anything, but if you refuse to do anything, nothing will happen i am your trainer i will give you the advice it is up to you to follow it if you do not do the things i ask nothing will happen you will go away disappointed if you do it can you fan faster please because it's really hot out there can you it's getting 95 degrees fan in fact use both hands as a fan use both hands you might have to sit up a little bit you might have to sit up really fan yourself fan yourself you need to cool yourself down keeping your eyes closed yes it's silly yes it's ridiculous you know exactly what you're doing ladies and gentlemen this is not lsd this is you using your imagination and we live in a world where we are so frightened what other people think of us it stops us from doing what we want because we're embarrassed that's why we drink that's why we take drugs because we just want to be free 95 96 97 98 100 degrees it's absolutely roasting boiling hot quickly on the floor there is a bottle of suntan lotion by your feet quickly pick it up take the top off rub it on all over
over your clothes, rub it all over as fast as you can. The more you do it, the more laugh you hear, the more you enjoy it. The more you do, the more relaxed you become. Rub it in, rub it in, rub it in, that's right, rub it in, don't forget the back of your neck, don't forget the back of your neck, rub it on the back of your neck, rub it on your face, rub it in. Wherever you think you're going to need it, rub it in, rub it in, that's nice. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, volunteers, if we spend all our time worrying what other people think, worrying, oh, I'm going to look stupid when I do this, then guess what? You're going to spend your life miserable. Or an alky. Your mouth is dry, your tongue is dry, your lips are dry, you can do with a drink. But the person on your right hand side needs some suntan lotion on their back. Help them out now please, just the back, nowhere else. Rub it in, rub it in. Can you just sort him out please? Just rub the back of his, just rub his back. Rub his back, there you go. Not his head. Your mouth is dry, your tongue is dry, you need some kind of refreshment. You need some kind of refreshment. Imagine, Miguel the waiter is going to go by with your favourite drink. He's going to come by with your favourite drink. On the count of three, think of your favourite drink, whatever it is. Miguel the waiter is going to have it, you're going to grab it and drink it. And imagine drinking your favourite drink. One, two, three, grab it and drink it. Grab it and drink it, grab it and drink it. Think of what it is, think of your favourite drink. And the more you drink, the more it makes you giggle. The more you drink, the more it makes you giggle. Drink more, it's not going to run out. It's not going to run out. It's an everlasting drink and it feels really good and it tastes good. And it makes you giggle and you're going to start laughing. And you don't know what you're laughing about. But it doesn't matter because what matters is you're enjoying yourself. And this stuff is not going to give you a hangover. This stuff is going to make you feel amazing. It's amazing. What's your favourite drink? What are you drinking? What are you drinking? Oh, San Miguel. Oh, San Miguel. What are you drinking, sir? Uh, no, no. Nice, he's drinking cider. That's lovely. What are you drinking there, sir? I got a Magnus. Oh, he's got a Magnus. That's lovely. What are you drinking, madam? Captain Morgan. Nice, a bit of Captain Morgan spice, maybe. What are you drinking, madam? Coke. Nice Coke. You can drink what you like. What are you drinking, sir? What are you Cherry drink? Pepsi. Cherry <laughs> Pepsi. At least he's not gone for the ginger, because let's face it, who likes ginger? I mean, I don't mind a ginger biscuit, but I don't want to eat Pepsi, that's disgusting. Would you like a drink down there? Would you like a drink? Mojito. What? Have a mojito. Have a little mojito with a straw and feel yourself giggling. Let's see you sucking it. Oh, is he making you giggle? He's making you giggle! He's making you giggle! Okay, you can put your drinks now and you can relax, you feel good. You've got a warm sensation in your body. You're feeling fantastic. You're feeling sexy. And imagine a couple of lovely people are walking down past you. They're giving you the eye. Just sit there and feel confident. You are chocolate. You, let's see your chocolate face. Let's see that face. It makes you feel special. Look at you. And you know it. You know it. You know it. They're looking at you. You feel awesome. Quite right, too. Imagine one of them is just giving you a kiss on the cheek. Nice. Imagine one of them is giving you a kiss on the other cheek. That's lovely. And now, I need you to sit up straight because you're now on the back of a beautiful donkey. We're going to have a donkey race. You're not going to move the chair, but you know you're on a chair, you're going to sit up straight, feet flat on the floor. You're under starter's orders. Ladies and gentlemen, you will provide the noise of the hooves using your hands. People in the audience, get ready everybody. We're going to race the horses and race the donkeys. Oh, I've got to tell you, the, the noise of the donkey, the name of the donkey, if you call the donkey a, a very strange name, give a strange name to the donkey, the donkey will run faster. Give the donkey a strange name and it will run faster. No, Three, two, one, go! And they're off! I'd like to ride you down as fast as you can. I'm going to ride you down the beach and you want to win the race. You're enjoying this. You've not ridden a donkey since you were a little child. You're really enjoying the race. You're going past some sunbathers on your right. You've got naked sunbathers on your left. Riding your donkey as fast as you can. Make
make the donkey go faster and shout out its name. You've turned into a cowboy. You're using your lasso. Shout the things that cowboys shout. Imagine there's arrows flying through the air. One flying past your left ear. One flying past your right ear. One flying in between both ears. Oh, we missed you. There must be a perfume, Aramis. You're coming up to a tree. It's covered in bacon. It's a ambush. They get worse, I've been telling these jokes for 25 years, I can't help myself, they make me laugh. And now you can relax, all the Indians have gone, you're no longer being chased, congratulate your donkey. Stroke your donkey where it likes to be stroked. <laughs> On its neck. <laughs> Give it a sugar lump, it likes that. Give it a sugar lump. <laughs> there you go, slobbered all over your fingers there. Oh, a bit slobby. Fizzy, is that have a drink? And now imagine you've got a couple of really sexy people that have come to congratulate you. No one's looking. No one's looking. They're going to congratulate you in a very special way. No one's ever going to know. It's in your head. It's in your head. No one's ever going to know. They are congratulating you now. And this is like slow motion in your brain. It just goes on forever. Oh my God. Oh yes, that's what I call a trophy. And now everybody's looking, so you look away. The sexy people have gone. You can congratulate yourself and go back to sleep five times deeper than you were sleeping before. One, two, three, sleep. Mind your head. The person next to you Oh, that's rank. Oh my goodness. In your pocket you have a special air spray. Special air spray that only you can use in a very peculiar way that will get rid of the smell. Grab it out of your pocket and use the air spray. Now. Oh my goodness. That is horrible. Shout it out. What does it smell of? What does it smell of, sir? Shit! Oh! What, have, what has she been eating? What's she been eating? Veg! So. What's he been eating, madam? God knows. <laughs> smell right. Oh, he's covering his face up here. What does that smell remind you of, sir? Sprouts and wet cabbage. <laughs> Sprouts and wet cabbage, ladies and gentlemen. That is awful. Don't worry, the smell's going to disappear when I count to three. But then it comes back again, ten times worse, one, two, three, it's gone. And on the count of three, you're going to open your eyes and you're going to feel fantastic. But remember what I said, anything that I say from now on, you'll do without question. you do it straight away because it's fun and ridiculous. And remember at the end when I count from five down to one, and I say that word, you'll no longer be hypnotised. Nod your head because you understand. One, two, three, open your eyes, have a good stretch. Give me a round of applause. I think we lost some of that. Don't mind. Sit yourself down, everybody get comfortable. Oh, you're you alright? You have a nice rest? Let's sleep. Let's sleep, good lad. Alright. Now the thing is, whilst you're here, you're all using your imagination. Are you waiting for the show to start? Yes. How long have, we, how long have you been here? How many minutes? Good 20. Okay, excellent stuff. All I want you to do is just remember this. That you... Uh, you can't be doing with people being noisy. You just can't be doing with it. If people start making a lot of noise, you've got to stand up and shout at them all to be quiet in Japanese. <laughs> all right, so that's what you do. Imagine that all these people here have gate crashed your mum's house. You having a party with a few friends. The, when you open your eyes, you're going to realise that all these people are gate crashers and they were so not happy about it. You're not going to get mad, but you've got to try and get them out of the house because your mum's due home any minute. And if she finds out there's all these people in the house, you're going to be in so much trouble and you don't want that. So you've got to shout at them to get out in Japanese. Don't touch anyone, don't, don't pick anything up. But I just want you to be very, 
very anxious and gesticulate and shout in Japanese. Okay, open your eyes. Now, if you just look around, have you been having a nice party? Yeah. What? Who, who's this lot? I don't know. Hang on a minute. Sorry, what's your mum's name? Tanya. Yeah, Tanya. Hiya. Yeah, he's here. When are you due home? 15 minutes. But they've wrecked the place. It's beautiful. The... Oh, oh, sorry, I won't. No, I won't tell her that. Yeah, no, nothing, nothing. I was just being. Hang on, I'll just. Yeah, alright, bye. Me? You need to get these people out of the house, your mum's home in 15 minutes and you've got to clean all this puke up off the floor and this shit everywhere. Can you just tell them, get them out, they're all Japanese, tell them, I don't want to get out of here now. I'm going to ask you, I'm going to ask you, I'm going to ask you, i Oh, She's peed oh, on your mum's oh, sofa! Oh, shut up, shut up, He's been, he's been in your bed! Oh, shut up, 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 this cheap fancy Thank you. You get see yourself down. Give me a round of applause, everybody. That's the best one, yeah. Don't worry, we're going to sort them out. High five. Sleep. That was very good. That was lovely. That was good, wasn't it? Oh, amazing too. Because this is what it's all about. It's about letting yourself. Let yourself just enjoy it. Just stand up a second. Can you stand up? I said, what? I said, stand up. Never mind. Kitty, come over here. Look, it's, uh, it's nice to meet somebody shorter than me for a chance because I was good. But do you know what? What you don't realise is that when we go flying, we're comfortable, aren't we? When we're playing, we're comfortable. We've got leg room. We have leg room. Now, do me a favour. What's your name? Matt. Matt. Don't let people walk all over you, Matt. That's why I said. Um, Right, Matt, do me a favour. In a second, you're going to realise something. We're on a sandy beach, and you are the world's number one sandcastle maker. And on three, two, one, you've got to start building that sandcastle. It's really important because this sandcastle, ladies and gentlemen, is a work of art. We're actually having a sandcastle building competition, and Matt is going to build the world's best sandcastle. Now, the thing is, he's in a very busy thoroughfare. Everyone's going to be very careful. But if anybody should manage to knock his sandcastle, he's going to act as he would as if he was five. But he's not five, he's a grown man, but he's going to act as though a five-year-old. And the thing is, deep down he finds it very funny, but as a five-year-old, imagine somebody walking through you. Well, what's the matter? My sandcastle! Sorry, what? My sandcastle! I'm, I'm really sorry, I didn't do that on purpose. Who went? I'm really sorry about that. I'm I didn't do that on purpose. Don't get mad at it. Can, can I get you an ice cream? No, I don't know you. You what? I don't know you. <laughs> don't know me. Don't take ice creams from strangers. He knows he's not five. He's a grown man, but he's just acting as though he's a five-year-old. Do you know what I mean? You, you know what I mean? He's not. He's building a sandcastle. I'll tell you what. Imagine you're on your own age now. Your own age. What would you say to me if I walked through your sandcastle? Move out of the way, prick. <laughs> Alright, no need to be like that. I'm 
just, I'll step over it. Okay, what can I? Is it safe if I go over it? What do you want? What? What do you want? <laughs> right, can I go over that way? Can I go that way? Yeah. All right. Jog on. Brilliant. Jog on, right. Now the thing is, ladies and gentlemen, you're all enjoying yourselves. <coughs> How are you? Listen, you can't help it, but you're a cockroach killer, and if you see any cockroaches on that beach, you're going to kill them, and you're going to stamp on them. Don't stamp on anyone's fingers, don't hurt anybody. Just be careful of that sandcastle, alright? Because he's a bit mental, alright? You've got to kill the cockroaches. Open your eyes, you get a pound for everyone you kill. Look at that. Look at him. The cockroacha, the cockroacha. Na 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 na. How much have you made so far? Does he know there's no cockroaches? He's mental, man. Does he know there's no sandcastle? That's what I'm doing. <laughs> you wouldn't get hypnotised to do it like that, would you? No, I'm stupid, isn't he? Stupid, yeah. What do you think of him then? I'm surprised. When I click my fingers, they're going to realise that they're long lost lovers. One, two, three. <laughs> lovely, isn't it? Lovely, lovely. Go and sit yourselves down. Go and sit on his knee. Sit on his knee. Well, it's Matt, sit down. Matt, sit down. You sit on his knee. Sit on Matt's knee. That's it. That's what it's all about. That's it. That's it. That's lovely. You're both stuck together now, though. You're stuck together. If you try to get up, you can't get up. You're stuck together like glue. You wanna? You just get up and... Just see if you can get up. There's 50 quid on the floor you can have there if you can... No? Alright, just stay there like that. Just stay there. In fact, don't fall over, don't drop each other, just sleep. Give them a round of applause, please, everybody. Do you see what we're doing here? Do you see what we're doing? We are releasing inhibitions. We are doing things that we wouldn't normally do, but it's all harmless. It's all silly. It's all ridiculous. It's not like we're having a barbecue and somebody's put a sausage on a chair, is it? All right. What's the matter? You okay? Burn your ass. Burn your ass. Sorry about that. Should have warned you, shouldn't I? I do apologise. Sit yourselves down. You better swap chairs if you want. Swap chairs. I don't mind. Swap chairs. I didn't mean to say sausage. Oh, all right. Sit yourselves down. Don't worry. I'll tell you what I've got for you. I've got a pair of glasses that when you look through them, you can see people completely naked. Who would like to look through these glasses? Yeah. Yeah, do you want a pair? Do you want a pair? Put your hand up. Do you want a pair? Open your hand. Yeah, you do. Okay. Listen, these glasses, they work like this, alright? When you look through these glasses, you're going to see everybody naked. It's hilarious. But the glasses work like this. Put your fingers together like that. Look through them and everybody is naked. <laughs> Have a look, well, you do it, you do it. Hey, hey, don't look at me like that. The thing is, when the women look at me, I'm all like a donkey. Alright, girls? Kids don't know what I'm on about. Excuse me, hey. Don't tell anybody. Hey, leave it alone, you! I'll tell you what, you can really see it. You can really see what it is, actually. Show everybody how small that is. <laughs> I'll tell you what, have a look at... Uh... Oh, let's have a look. Find somebody in the audience. Do us a favour, can you stand up? Can you just find the man, not me, find the man with the smallest one and point him out to us. Just put, have a quick look around. Who is it? Have a look, just point it anyway, it doesn't matter. He, he looks like he doesn't care. Yeah. Hey, can you come over here, sir, please? Yeah, yeah, just come over here. Yeah. Okay. Can you just can you just stand there? He's gonna do something amazing. Watch this, come over here, come over here. Turn around. Guys, 
If you've got the glasses on, come over here and watch this fella. Watch him, just watch. Get a bit closer, watch him. Watch carefully and see he's gonna more. He's completely naked, right? Yeah. But, he, but he's a decent looking fella, isn't he? No. You're all right, mate. Don't, don't, don't take the mickey. Have you seen anything like that before? Never in my life. <laughs> but he's all right, though, isn't he? Just put the glass in. You're all right. You're all right. Now, sir, is there anything that you would like to be? Would you like to be a muscle man? Would you like to be a woman? What would you like to be? Woman. Fair enough. Okay, so we're going to make him into a woman. So, this is going to freak him out now. This is going to freak him out. He's got a special power. Watch him. Use your special power and change into that thing and watch their faces. Watch their faces when you do it. Do that and move now. <laughs> Only the fittest woman you've ever seen. Say that again, what? I can't look at him with your glasses on. <laughs> look at that, it's pretty amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it's tidy. But the thing is, whatever he's turned into, you've turned into. Look at yourself. <laughs> it's not real, it's the glasses. But look at yourself, look at yourself. <laughs> you can take the glasses off when you're normal. Take the glasses, see? But pull them on again, it's gone. <laughs> the only way to do it is if you want to feel yours, you've got to swap lenses with each other. <laughs> is that... <laughs> and when I count to three, they're going to wonder what they're doing. One, two, three, what are you doing? All right. Give them a round of applause, everybody. Sit yourselves down. Thank you, sir. All right, we're going to do one thing. Everybody, one, two, three, sleep. Down and down you go. Down and down, deeper, 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 deeper. Good feeling, good sensation. All you, just close your eyes. Just close your eyes. Now, I'm going to wake everybody up. I'm going to wake them all up. I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. Guys, a few things you need to remember. When you're hypnotised, you are aware of everything that goes on. When you're hypnotised, you can stop at any time. When you're hypnotised, you do not make yourself do anything you don't want to do. Nod your head if those three things are true. Okay. When people are hypnotised, or when people hear about hypnotism, they think that the hypnotist has complete control over them. Nod your head if that is not true. Okay, because they've done the things that I've asked them to do because it was funny, enjoyable, and it's gone... It's made you just feel amazing. I want you to think about this. All the time that you're there, you've not thought about work, troubles, debts, problems. All you've thought about is what I've asked you to do. Am I right? And the things that you've done are silly ridiculous, but they were very vivid in your mind. Am I right? Even though you knew it was not real. Am I right? I want you to remember, the next time you need to do something, the next time you need to succeed, I want you to put it in your mind exactly what it is you need to be. Put it in your mind what you need to do, put it in your mind, the success, put it in your mind, the positivity. At night time, before you go to bed, you can close your eyes and you can put yourself in a little trance. The way to do it is this. Think of a place you've always wanted to go. I always do the beach, I like the beach. I've been doing the beach for donkey's years and I could change it if I wanted, it could be a garden, it doesn't matter. Put yourself in a place that you feel comfortable. Imagine yourself on a sun lounger or wherever it is, and if you do it before bed, you'll go to sleep thinking of yourself in this happy place. When you wake up, you'll feel refreshed as though you've been on holiday. It's that simple. If you need to do it for half an hour, 20 minutes in the afternoon because you're tired, then do it and you will wake up. You can set an alarm if you want to and have a cat nap. Put yourself on the beach and imagine as much as possible. Imagine the beach, the sea, the sand, the, sand, the people, whatever it is that makes you comfortable. Put that in your head and smell the smells, hear the sounds, you'll hypnotise yourself. When the alarm goes off, you'll wake up feeling fantastic. Just don't do it when you're driving. Because that'd be bad. I'm going to wake these people up in a second. When I do, you're going to give them a big round of applause. I want you to start stretching your muscles, bringing yourself round. I'm going to count from five down to one, I'm going to say Constantinople. I want you to remember that the things that we've done tonight will not mean anything to you again. You cannot be hypnotised against your will. You cannot be hypnotised without your knowledge. 
You can only be hypnotised if you want to do it. Not yet, because you know that's true. When you read things in the papers about people doing things under hypnosis or they've been affected or whatever, you know that these people are cashing in. We live in a litigious society where anybody will sue anybody for their own fault. People do not take responsibilities for their own actions. This affects business, it affects other people. Mind your answer. All I want you to remember is this. When you hypnotise yourself, you are going to make yourself into the person that you've always wanted to be. Don't worry about looking in the mirror. I see myself how I want to be. And when I do this show, I see myself as the world's greatest hypnotist. That's how I see myself. And in doing that, you believe me. And you allow me to hypnotise you. If I thought for an instant that I couldn't hypnotise you, what would happen? I don't want to get it the time. Believe and see yourself who you want to be. Five, start stretching your muscles. Four, bringing yourself around. Three, going to feel fantastic, full of energy, full of life. No longer hypnotised, back to normal. Feeling fantastic, wonderful and amazing. If you want to think about it when you go back home and close your eyes, when you're on the bed, you go to sleep, put yourself back on the beach. Two, one, Constantinople, open your eyes, wakey wakey, rise and shine, give me a big round of applause everybody. How do you feel that? Feel a little bit sleepy, a little bit tired, your eyes are very bloodshot and that's fine. Because you go into it, and you sir, you went so deep that I didn't do much with you because you seem to have been enjoying the space that you are in. So don't feel like I didn't make you do anything. You seem quite happy with, how do you feel? Good? Feel that, it's different isn't it? You were aware of everything. At any point, you could have just opened your eyes and got away, am I right? Yeah. You could have just gone, no, I'm, out, I'm out. But you didn't, you stayed. How do you feel? You knew what was going on, it's peculiar. It's like kind of an out-of-body experience that you know what you're doing, you feel yourself doing, you've got this little argument going, your argument went far to the other side. What happens is, is people go, oh, I can wake up, I don't have to sit here. Your eyes open, you look around, damn it, I brought myself out of it. You can, that's what happens. You close your eyes again, you put yourself back into it. It's nothing, it's not hocus pocus. Hypnosis, I don't like the word. How do you feel? It's all right, you're allowed to go. You're tired. Guys, they're going to give you a big round of applause. You're going to sit yourselves down. You all feel fantastic. You're all back to normal. You've done amazing. I hope you enjoy yourself. And if you want to come and talk to me, come and see me afterwards. If you want to know... It's what? You're still supposed to be lunching and look at it, yeah. If... You just remember the things that we've done, we know that they were silly and ridiculous. But I want you to remember this. If you want to know how people get hypnotised, get the book. If you go to the website, docstrange.co.uk, it says, learn stage hypnosis. I've written a book, it's there, if you want it. I've got a couple of copies. I don't have any more, I've got some more coming from America where I haven't printed. But they are on Amazon, if you want them. If you go to the website, the link is there, and you can learn all about it. I will put the video on YouTube. I've got to edit it because I was picking it up and moving it around and some of it didn't film, some of it did. So I'll do I'll do the best I can, all right? And you'll see what you've done. And if you want to learn it, go to the website, get the book, and it'll teach you all about everything that we've done tonight, what I've been doing for 25 years. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Doc Strange. Thank you very much for having me. Enjoy your summer, enjoy your fundraiser, enjoy the rewards that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a great night. See you all again. Bye for now.